There is Grayson Rodriguez, start number 21 of what is turning out to be a terrific rookie year, and Ben at 23 years and 304 days of age, perhaps the biggest start of his life. It's a Saturday night in September with first place on the line. How about that? 100 twice, 99 once, and then a changeup to get Diaz swinging. Really good start for Rodriguez. A little tapper here from Lau. Rodriguez is off the mound to get it and throw him out at first base. Randy, four at bats against Rodriguez. 0 for 4. A Rosarena check to swing. Did he go? He did. Yes, sir. What an opening act this is from young Grayson Rodriguez. Orioles grab the bats next. Taking the mound tonight for the Tampa Bay Rays. Right-hander Tyler Glass now talked about it coming into this game in the open, how locked in he is really with all of his pitches here over the last couple of months. Henderson's had a big year against Tampa Bay. And Gunnar Henderson greets him with a first pitch base hit into center field. Love it. Wasting no time at all. And really, that's the pitch you want to attack off glass now. It is a big time fastball. And Rutschman will take a walk. So the Orioles have the first two on against Tyler Glassdown. Ball to two strikes for Santander. And that ball is spiked. Henderson got an aggressive jump and both runners advance the base. So you get a base hit here from Santander and you've got a two nothing lead. Swing and a miss. He strikes him out. 97 up out of the zone and that's out number one. And now second and third for Baltimore in the first inning. Here's Ryan O'Hearn. That ball's jammed in the left field. A Rosarena racing in. He no. dropped it. Henderson got a late break. He will score. Rutschman is in the third, and the Orioles catch the break they've been looking for. That's a play that we see Randy make often. Orioles strike first in game three. Rutschman at third. O'Hearn at first. Ground ball third. Down to second one. First base two. They got them both. And they limit Baltimore to just the one run. And all things considered, the Rays will certainly take that, limiting Baltimore to just a run. Josh Lowe leads off the second inning. And that's 99 right towards the top of the zone. He's punched out three of the first four Rays he's faced. And you can just look at his face, the demeanor, the body language. Like, it's a big arm, but it's a slow heartbeat when it matters most. Margot puts one in the air to right field. Aaron Hicks has plenty of room in front of that wall. Here's the right-handed hitting Curtis Mead. Oh, Forget about it. Well, I'll just throw a 100 right down the gut. The kid is pumped up tonight, folks. It's a smoke show so far. Grayson Rodriguez with four punch outs and two innings. Glasnow's uncorked wild pitches in each of the first two innings. Rios, a two out base runner for Adam Frazier. Up the middle and Adam Frazier sneaks it through. Ramon Rios is going to score after the wild pitch. He comes in from second. A two strike RBI single out of the ninth spot for Adam Frazier. Two nothing birds. Here's Gunnar Henderson batting left handed. And Gunnar Henderson first pitch swinging deep center field. That ball is out of here. Oh show him who you are kid. Show him who you are. He's the rookie of the year and he is the star on this Orioles team. Gunnar Henderson 27th long ball of the year and this Oriole offense is back and it is back in a loud way. The Orioles have made it a 4 nothing ball game. So a big opportunity first one of the night for the Rays first and third for Josh Lowe. A ground ball to second base Frazier Henderson inning over. Grayson Rodriguez escapes a scoreless fourth with a little help from his friends. Two on with two outs, six at second, Frazier at first. And here is that guy, Gunnar Henderson. Henderson, right side, he's ready to go again. It's a three hit night for Gunnar Henderson. Frazier heading to third, Frazier's safe at third. Orioles have the first five. Have a night, kid. Gunnar Henderson, three for three, two singles. A homer and now his third RBI of the game. First and third, two down, Adley Rutschman. Rutschman, base hit right field as well. Adley Rutschman gets in on the party and it's 6 nothing Orioles. They are all over Tyler Glass now right now. Couple men on base with one out. It's going to send Cedric Mullins up to the plate. Mullins left center field and that's going to get down for a hit. Here comes O'Hearn around third. Cedric Mullins scores a run off the Rays bullpen to make it 7-0. Right field Ramona Rios and there's another one. They are just pouring it on. Four days of frustration smashed 
to pieces in four and one third innings. And it's eight to nothing Orioles. Two aboard with two out for Manuel Margot. Margot to short, Gunnar Henderson again. He cannot be contained in the field, at the plate, anywhere. It's a glove show every night from Gunnar Henderson. And a nice pick on the back end by O'Hearn. Two up, two down. How efficient has Grayson Rodriguez been here tonight? It's just 83 pitches through six and two thirds. This ball into left field. Austin Hayes chasing it back off the bat of Basabe. Yes, he did. Hey, Austin Hayes takes this one away. A tip of the cap and a scream from Grayson Rodriguez. He sets the Rays down in order again and the Orioles having their way, 8-0 over the Rays. It'll be Rene Pinto to begin the top of the eighth. And he strikes out Pinto, and there it is. A new career high for Grayson Rodriguez. Seven and now one-third innings. Every staff needs a guy that stops a losing streak, and Grayson Rodriguez has been that guy tonight. Boy, that might be the best breaking ball he's thrown tonight, too. Just let the kid eat. This is why he goes up against the Aces. First major league at bat for Tristan Gray. He pops up the first pitch he sees. And Grayson Rodriguez has two outs in the eighth. Grayson Rodriguez, one out away from completing eight innings for the first time in his major league career. He strikes out loud. Eight shutout innings. Ladies and gentlemen, meet big game Grayson. The Orioles are one strike away from sending 38,432 into a full-throated frenzy. He struck him out. A night to remember at Oriole Park. The Orioles take back first place all of themselves in the AL East. And the magic number to get into the postseason is down to one.